Hello, this is Dampro, and we are in part three of my facial rig um, tutorial series. In the last part, we set up a very simple and easy to set up um, eye rig. Now we're going to, con to continue this with um, creating our deformation bones um, for the eyelids and probably the upper cheek. Now, that's what I'm going to concentrate on this tutorial, the weight painting and uh, setting those bones up. But before we get too far, I want to start organizing my armature a little bit better here. So otherwise it's going to quickly get out of hand. So, And the last tutorial we have, um, as I mentioned, we've set up three controls for our eye rigs. We have the, con the controls for the eyes themselves where we can rotate them independently and the eye control target. I'm going to move these to their own layer by typing M with them selected and then move them to layer um, two on the armature and then there are three mechanism bones I'm going to move those on the on the layer that's directly underneath the controls for the eyes and that's just going to help um, keep everything a little bit cleaner here a second layer of organization that we can start using would be to use bone groups the first one I'm going to call controls if I can spell that right and the second group will be for our deformation bones so for controls, I'm going to have the default color set to red, and then I will assign the control bones from the eye rig. Select them and then assign, and they'll turn those bones red. And for our deformation bones, currently we only have two for the def, um, for the neck and the head. We'll select deformation. I'm going to assign a green color to them and then assign those two bones to them. And then we have a good visual um, organization um, layer set up here. So we know that our red bones are going to be controls and our green bones are deformations and I'll just leave the mechanism bones in their default um, state. So, Alright, jump in here and add some bones for our eyelids. I'm going to select the left eye, just the, the head end of it. E to extrude, G, Y, drag out a bone, G, Z, put this up right about at the base of the eyelid. Name this to def.eyelid.u for upper. I want to parent that to the def head bone. Control P, keep offset. And now I want to tab into pose mode temporarily so we can set up a few of these um, uh, transform locks. This is not going to be needed for locations. So we'll lock that and also not needed for scale. I'm going to change from the rotation mode from quaternion to XYZ since we're only going to rotate this eyelid on one axis and that will be the X axis. You can see it traveling in that direction or maybe you can't. And also we're going to assign that to our deformation um, bone controls or bone groups. If we go back into edit mode with the upper eyelid selected, shift D to duplicate it and then RX rotate this for our lower lid. We can save some time here with naming. We'll change it from U to B for bottom. And back into pose mode here, everything has been duplicated across. All the transform locks even being assigned to the um, deformation controls just because we duplicated that bones and we set up all that stuff uh, before duplicating it. Now a quick way to um, save some time, I'm going to go into the edit mode of the mesh. Select the portion down here on the upper cheek. Shift S, cursor to selected, just so I can accurately add a new bone at that position. Back to the armature, edit mode, shift A, and we'll do G, Z, resize this bone, it's quite large, R, X, negative 90, and maybe G, Y doesn't need to be so big, and this will be our deformation bone for the cheek. I want to parent that to def head, keep offset. And in pose mode, I think we will use all the transforms so we can change the location, rotation, uh, and scale for this um, particular deformation bone. We'll assign it to our deformation bone control group, our deformation group. And now, with those three set up, for our left side, we can duplicate this in edit mode, armature, auto name left and right to append.l to them, and then we can symmetrize them and get our right side for free. So now we are ready to go. One thing I want to point out, because we've been just added six new deformation bones on our 
uh, mesh itself under the vertex groups because we've already parented this mesh to the armature uh, with automatic weights and then we did a cleanup and we already have only two groups for the deformation so for the head and the neck and now we've added new bones to our armature I want to show you a quick way where we can add our deformation group our deformation groups uh, to that list so I'm going to select the mesh shift select any bone in the armature I'll do the head and then control P I'm going to reparent it with armature deform and empty groups now what this did was it went through and it cycled through and it looked at every one of the bones in the armature and it created a, a empty group for everything that wasn't already currently on there so we didn't mess up the weight painting on the neck and the head that we've done previously so this is how I like to add the vertex groups without um, wrecking the prior weight painting so if we would have done that with automatic weights we would have had to go through the process of um, fine-tuning the head and neck again and uh, this is just a better solution for that but now we're ready to go into weight paint mode now just to start with most of the vertices in the face are parented 100 percent only to the deaf head bone if we select the um, eyelid here the eyelid bone you can see that we have currently have no weights I want to start this process by posing this eyelid bone down I'm just going to rotate it a little bit over halfway and something else that's going to help us while we're painting the eyelid is just tab into edit mode and select the loop around the eye and with control plus we can get a larger selection around the eye go back to weight paint mode and then when we can enable um, face selection masking with the selection that we made in edit mode that's going to be the masking selection in weight paint mode so I'm going to start with a little bit higher weights i um, try to do this as quickly as I can start adding weights from our upper eyelid to this area here you'll notice that there's basically three main loops here that that um, define the uh, flat portion if we look at how this bone is aligned it's, I want to weight these three loops um, right here on these edges about a hundred percent weight just to start uh, the process out here nearly all red now this won't look particularly good here for a while get both sides get them either all red or nearly red then we can start adjusting the weights around them because I want that edge to follow this bone um, nearly 100% so wherever I move it I want to pose it down and now I'm just going to adjust um, the weights around this to get the proper proper defer, uh, deformation so I can quickly add some weights to this edge check the other side I'm going to go down to 0.1 weights now that I'm getting to the outer edges here just to slow down the process here a little bit and get a little bit more accurate and basically all that I'm trying to do is with the bone posed I'm going to add weights to make the deformation look good so um, you can see that I've got kind of a bow here so I need more weights on either end but that is basically the basic process of weight painting is you pose your bone and then you adjust the weights to create the deformation so these topology lines are deforming correctly don't forget to add a little bit of weight up on the inner lid that's going to help straighten those out make sure they don't ball up so just back and forth adding a few weights to get the deformation that we want I actually want to extend some weights all the way into the corner I'm actually going to drop the weights down a little bit further for this 0 0.025 and a little bit of influence on the bottom although not very much I just want to get a kind of a fleshy reaction there these will be a little bit stronger there but some in there maybe that was a little stronger than I wanted of course it's just a back and forth 
me see here if I can straighten up this edge a little bit better. Now, I'm not going to do this whole thing in real time because I think this process is uh, probably boring to watch, but I just want to show you the basic method. Now that I've got the eyelid uh, basically pretty straight, I will still need to adjust it. Now I'm just going to extend the weights up around to these other loops, and then I can make it look like an accordion so I can it's going to have stronger weights down here and then I'll just get less and less as the as I get further and further away for each of these other loops so you can see that I'm basically just by adding weights again I'm just um, making the topology and the de deformation happen here so I can actually add some out here as well and then it's just fine-tuning how far we these loops are from each other and the vertices are away from each other until I get the deformation that I want stronger on this edge and then less and less as I go up oh that's the basic process I'll actually um, stop this now and do this uh, uh, these other bones for um, the lower lid and also the uh, cheek and then I'll show you the results uh, in a little bit All right, here is the final results for my um, weight painting. It took me about about 20 minutes, probably. I have to stop this quite often to cough, so I apologize for for that. So here's the lower lid. I'm liking the results there, and then the cheek. Now, what I want you to notice is I've actually extended the influence pretty far away from the actual bone, but those the influence at the outer edge here is uh, actually very very small so they're very very low weights and that's just to give me some uh, good fleshiness here so if I move this cheekbone around here and I can also scale it if I scale everything but the y-axis here you can get some good puffiness going on so pretty happy with uh, everything take a look at the lower lid here again I've extended that the weights out but these weights are very low really like the way that deformation is happening it's a little bit of fleshiness uh, at the joint there I mean, we bring these together so that is the process basically again pose your um, bone and then just set up your weights to create the exact deformation that you need by adding and subtracting the weights to make your topology basically look right and nice and even uh, across so I hope these tips help and I hope this was a uh, uh, a good base for you for your weight painting. If you like this tutorial and like the content, please like and subscribe. Until next time, good luck.